Let's begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ in the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning to each and every one. Good morning, Father. Today is a great feast for us as we celebrate the annunciation, the announcement of the birth or the announcement to Mary that she will conceive the Son of God, our Lord Jesus Christ. So with that, let us offer our prayer through the intercession of Blessed Mother Mary as he has said yes to the Lord so that we will find peace in the world, peace and joy, especially in this present time of pandemic and crisis in the whole world. So my dear brothers and sisters, Let us now acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, to my, you brothers my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my, my thoughts and in my, and in my words, words, in what, what I have done, done and in what, what I have failed to do, through my, through my fault, through my, my, fault, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all, all the angels and saints, and, saints, and you, my, my brothers and sisters, sisters to, pray to pray for me to the glory of our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who will that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Aeus, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or offering you wished not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocaust and sin offerings you sought not, then said I, behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll, it is prescribed for me. To do your will, O God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announce your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips as you, O Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats takes away sins. 
For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocaust and sin offerings, you took no delight. Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First Christ says, Sacrifice and offerings, Holocaust and sin offerings, You neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By the will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us, and we saw His glory. Glory to you, Word of God, O Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee named Nazareth, the virgin betrothed to man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and be your son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in old age, sir. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. And Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. With that, the angel left her. Sisters and brothers, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. So, let us, it is a joyful day for all of us that we are gathered together on this feast of the announcement to Mary. Usually, every time celebrate this Mass, the Lenten season, would ask, Oh, bakit na ang kapistahan ni Mama Mary nakapasok sa Lenten season, which is March 25? But before we share with you the message of the Lord to us through the Virgin Mary, I always remind in this Lenten season that this is already the third week of Lent. And we are asking ourselves, 
the three good things the Lord is reminding us to do. Almsgiving, fasting, and prayer. So that is why at this moment did we ask ourselves, where are we now? Where I am now? It is the middle of the 40 days of journey with the Lord. Kindly ask ourselves, where I am now? Am I doing things to join the Lord, to glorify Him by doing these three important things? Almsgiving, fasting, and prayer. These are the thing, good things that we need to do. But I always say these three good things that you are going to do is also the three good things that we are tempted not for God but for ourselves. So let us be aware and be watchful in this Lenten season of the things that we want so that to be a true follower of the Lord. So today, as we mentioned that o nga no, a Lenten season pero incarnation. Diba? Beginning. Sabi nga, we, we are talking now of the end time because the Lord will suffer and die on the cross. And now we are here reminded that what is the beginning? The beginning is the announcement. The beginning is the incarnation. So we are aware that today we are reminded of the call of Mary to take in, his, in her womb the Son of God to stay with her, to, to live inside her, and at the right time will be one with us in this world. So that is why sa ating opening prayer na mention that we have our God incarnate in the womb of Mary just Son of God and the Son of Man. That means our God is both human and divine. He revealed His humanity when He stayed inside the womb of Mary, our mother, and become man like us except sin. That's the beginning of His presence on this earth and the finally the end which is also the beginning of being resurrected. And that is what we are longing for. So my dear brothers and sisters, what is the importance of the announcement or the incarnation? Man made flesh. And that is why we are uh, happy in the, our devotion to the Blessed Mother. Because it is through her we have the Savior of the world. It is through her we know who is our God. Because you have not seen God. Who see God? We see God because God sent His only begotten Son to reveal Himself to us. And those who have faith and believe, He will reveal also Himself. So that through this incarnation, Blessed Mother Mary is so blessed. He is chosen among women. He is conceived without sin. He is con conceived without sin because the mo he, he became the mother of God. He is the chosen by the Father so that we will have a Savior through her. Siguro kung hindi siya nag hindi siya nag yes, what will happen to us? But Mary's yes, her fiat, when the angel announced to her that he become the mother of God, first he doubt, first he is hesitant, but finally he said, Yes, Lord, your will be done. That is why, anong sinabi niya, Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. What a beautiful expression that Mary said, Parang wala na, nandito ako ang iyong alipin, ang iyong servant, kung ano ang kalooban mo, yun ang masunod. Ang kalooban ng Diyos, siya ay maging ina at ating ina. Kung saan mayroon tayong devotion, nagpe-pilgrimage tayo dito sa Our Lady of Rosary of Manawag, who is Mary, our mother, 
Kasi alam ninyo si Mama Mary, ang dami-dami niyang title, di ba? Kanya-kanyang tawag sa kanya. But the same Mary, that is why other religion is accusing us. Ang dami-dami mang Mary nyo, Mary dito, Mary doon. He's the only one, Mary, with so many titles because he revealed himself, herself here and there. So we have our Lady of Rosary of Mga Nawag, our Lady of Peña Francia, our Lady of Peace, our Lady of Health, our Lady of Guadalupe, no? So remember, there is only one Mary, the Mother of God, who said yes to the call to become a mother. And that is why Mary is our model. That is why we come in visit this basilica. Because it is here also when we visit, we offer our prayers through her intercession to bring us closer to His Son, our Lord, who is the Savior of the world. Yun palagi ang tandaan natin. It is true, our Blessed Mother, that she bring closer to us to His Son. And in the Philippines, you are blessed. Because 500 years ago, no, when Christianity was brought and accepted by our ancestors, Mary was there, that our mother, the mother of God in our mother. So we are blessed. That is why, di ba, ang iba nga, minsan hindi makasimba, but they go to the novena to perpetual health, the novena to Lady of Rosary of Manawang. Why? Because through that prayer to the intercession of Blessed Mother Mary, she bring us closer to His Son. Hindi ba? Many of you may be member of Legion of Mary, children of Mary, and we always pray to Jesus through Mary. To Jesus through Mary. So, palagi natin si Mama Mary is interceding for us sa lahat na part ng buhay natin. At so, Mama Mary, you go always to the need because God knows what is in our heart that we need our intercessor. Our Blessed Mother. You know the heart of a mother. No, many of you who are mothers know how to take care of your son, how to take care of your children, how to take care of your family. Mama Mary suffered a lot. That is why mayroon tayong seven sorrows of Mary. I believe you know. In the journey in the life of Mary, still so young. And yet he suffered a lot when he started to have Jesus in her. Sa atin din, ganun din. Once we start to be closer to, to Jesus, once to, look, to always follow Him, more pain and suffering will encounter. Expect that. Yung iba naman natatakot, hindi na lang kung susunod sa Kanya, kasi maraming problema ang mangyari sa akin. But that is a call. Ibig sabihin, if we follow Him, we can experience all the pain and the suffering. But it is nothing compared to his promise to us of eternity, his promise of eternal life, his promise of joy, as long as he is with us. Diba? Sa so first reading, he says, called Emmanuel, God is with us. If we always put that into our heart and our mind every moment of our life, that God is always with us, we don't think so much of the experience of pain, of suffering, or problems that we encounter because we know we are not alone. God is with us. Our Blessed Mother is with us. So my dear brothers and sisters, uh, one very important message for us in this Feast of the Annunciation and when Mary said, Here am I, Lord. I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Let us borrow these words of Mary. Can we borrow it and say also the same to our Lord? Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. But many times when we pray, we always say prayer, Lord, ikaw bahala sa akin. And in the prayer of our Father, but ano ginagawa natin? Ang ating gusto din na masunod. That is why nothing happened in our life. So the importance of our celebration today in the announcement of the coming of the Lord through our Blessed Mother is to borrow her word, as I said, 
that here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I believe and I hope that today, balik-balikan natin ito. Kung handa ba ako mag-surrender ng sarili ko sa Panginoon, katulad ng ginawa ni Mama Mary, nung wala siya nagreklamo sa lahat na pain and suffering na experience when Jesus was with him, with her, even on the cross. Even, sang, di ba, nung isilang pa lang sa Jesus, naghirap na siya, wala siyang mapuntahan. Saan isilang sa Jesus? Sa sabsaban? Imagine, yung anak mo doon lang kasi wala man siyan. Then after that, he has to run to Egypt because Herod will kill the child. Then go back, when they go back, another pain and suffering na wala si Jesus for three days. So my dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate today the Feast of the Annunciation, let it be also an announcement to us. What is the announcement to us? That we have to receive Jesus in our heart, especially this Lenten season. And the announcement to Mary is also an announcement to us. And can we say also, Lord, here I am. I come to do your will. And looking at that, we can see the importance and the values that Mary has in her life. So, uh, finally, I would like just to remind us the virtues of Mary na sana mayroon tayo. Kung wala pa, let's have one of that. And I always remember these four important values that Mary has. So that, bitbitin natin ito. First is the ch her charity. Her love for us. Love of the Son, love of God. Can we have that value or virtue of charity? Second is the value or virtue of humility. The most important, one of the most important virtues of Mary, humility. Humility means humbling ourselves before God and before others. Humility is the foundation of all virtues. Remember, if you don't have humility, you will not be here attending the, the Eucharist. But with humility of heart, we are here to join the Lord. Next is important is obedience. Like our Blessed Mother, He obeyed. That is why we have our Savior, our Redeemer, because of her obedience to the will of the Father and her purity. Her purity is a sign that He is pure in her heart, in her mind, and only focus on the Son. Tayo din is invited to be pure so that the Lord will reign in our heart, so that the Lord will guide us, so that the Lord will give us joy and peace in this journey. In spite of pain and suffering that we encounter, we still find joy because only Jesus that is in us will give it to us. To the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary, then we'll always find joy and peace. We cannot separate Mama Mary and Jesus. They are always together because they are the one who will lead us to the final destination to join them in the kingdom of God where there is perfect joy and peace. Kindly all stand. Through the faithful obedience of the Blessed Virgin Mary, God takes flesh among us. The mystery of the Incarnation calls us to our loving Father, to the Incarnate Son. Our response, Lord, bless all our days. Lord, bless all our days, that the Church may be seen as the Incarnation of the working body of Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless all our days. That people of goodwill may learn that Christ has united himself with every person in taking our human nature. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless all our days. That scientists and technologists may work with noble ideals to further human dignity and happiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless all our days. That pregnant mothers may welcome the new life as Mary welcomed her son. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless all our days. That those who have died may be forgiven of their sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless all our days. At this very moment, 
as one church. Let us pray for world peace, especially for Russia and Ukraine, that their leaders will have the capacity of humility to dialogue so that there will be peace, that they will be safeguard of the humanity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless all our days. In the silence of our heart, let us also pray for our own personal intention, all the intentions that we offer in this Mass, and also the intention of those people asking us to pray for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless all our days. Father of the incarnate word, we bring our intentions before you, the fabric of our daily lives, made holy by your Son, our brother in the faith, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness you have received the bread we offer you. But of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For to the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offering so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son, may rejoice to celebrate His mysteries on this solemnity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men and for men's sake, by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly, she bore him in her immaculate womb, that the promises to the children of Israel might come about, and the hope of nations be accomplished behind all telling. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with You are indeed holy, O Lord. In all you have created, rightly gives you praise. 
but through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts you have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body in blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and give the chalice. And give the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many with the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Rather we are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that you may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession we rely for unfailing help. May the, may the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children, scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, informed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days with the help of your mercy. We always free from sin and safe from all distress as you await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray confirm in our minds the mysteries so that through faith we pray O Lord so that confessing that he who has conceived the Virgin Mary is true God and true man we may through the saving power of his resurrection merit to attain eternal joy through Christ our Lord Amen please so, be seated for some announcement Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the Summer Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on May 4, 2022, third Wednesday after Easter Sunday. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from April 25 to May 3, 2022. Additional Mass at 3 o'clock p.m. on May 1, Sunday. We invite you to participate in this Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please so stand. Prayer for elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming election may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver, Deliver us, Lord. Please all kneel. From coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of soul and Savior of the nations, politics is always a gift to us. It's a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. So before the final blessing, I would like just to invite you that you'll be inspired by the message of our Blessed Mother, her yes to God, and can we borrow her words? Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sana yun ang ating ref, eh, paglainilayan as we celebrate the Feast of the Annunciation that the Son of God become man incarnate in this world to be like us except sin, to be a true human and true God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in one another. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the sick. God Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. 
to the intercession of Our Lady of Brother Sorry of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.